My name is Kogut. My mother says it means boy of the forest. Because I used to go there every day when I was little. We come from a small village. Father says generations of fishermen and women have been living here. But I am tired of fish. I'm looking for adventure. And I have this dream that one day, every land from here to Kattegat will be mine. That is why I must leave and seek my true fate. And now I officially welcome you to my very first Europe campaign in Mountain Blade Bannerlord. Before we get into it, I would like to announce that everyone who comments will be featured in the next video. I will either name a crafted weapon or a companion after you. So don't miss out on that chance. My name is Trepo and I hope you enjoy. We're starting our journey at Stockholm, faction Denmark. This is <laughs> obviously Sweden and yes, you may have noticed uh, this is not a normal Bannerlord map, this is not Calradia. This is actually Europe. There are many different factions than the ones you are so familiar with. So what are we gonna do? Maybe we should visit the village, do some honest work. Yeah, I can just work. <laughs> and you will witness me <laughs> making my first coins. Awesome. How much did I get? 64 coins. That's a good start. Let's go to Stockholm. We could try to recruit some troops. Oh, nice. Okay, this is really cool. I uh, also downloaded a pretty huge mod that is kind of replacing all the unit trees. And also, as you can see, adding more armor. I, <laughs> I can't afford it. Oh, man. Yeah, this should be okay. But what the mod does is add m different units and make it kind of fit in to the medieval times that we're currently in. I think I will try my luck at the arena. Enter it and introduce ourselves <laughs> to the lovely tournament master. Hey! <laughs> oh, you have seen better days. I've heard of the games and I would really like to participate in some kind of practice fight. Oh, lovely! The spear! My grandparents used to fight with that. <laughs> I never met them, but I did. And I got some pretty cool throwing axe. Okay, there's also some... Oh god, this is hard. Okay, this is going a bit far. Oh, sorry, senor. <laughs> also, another mod that I... Oh god, not now. Not... <laughs> I just wanted to... Well, okay, let me just... Sure, why not? Let me do that again and while I practice a little bit, I'll tell you a bit about the other mods that I got. So, as you can see, it, uh, down in the, in the lower right corner, it's showing us some kind of armor icons, which I assume is part of the RBM uh, mods, which stands for Realistic Battle Mod. And it kind of edits all the armor. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh, somebody shot me through the head. It's like tweaking the armor points, so it's more realistic. If, like, for example, you have very thick armor, lots of steel around your neck, and this mod is just making you survive longer, which obviously is also realistic. Because, like, in medieval times, I, I doubt that there were many things that could go through an armor, and they would have to kind of just, I guess, stab through the eyes or pull off a helmet. I'm not really doing that much damage. The guy just fell. Um, yeah, I think it's called Xorbarax Legacy, which is just a bunch of mods in one little pack. It's crazy what it's doing. It's, it adds like bangs, it adds the honest work that I just did uh, at the village. Oh man, you wanna, you wanna get hit in the head, huh? It's not really your head, but I'm, I'm, I'm trying. Um, he just bled out. Oh yeah, you can actually bleed out too. It's also part of this mod pack. Very useful. I mean, maybe not useful, but it's realistic at least. I don't want to talk too much about all of it. I'm gonna list all the mods in the video description. So you can go check them out. Most of them are also on the Steam Workshop, so you don't have to worry about having to understand how mods are being installed. Under shoulder hit, handle hit. Okay, that's also interesting, the kind of... Oh god, poor guy. Yeah, I think I'm fine. If you look at our money, we definitely need to make some more. And by the way, um, if you guys want me to create a banner 
a custom banner then just comment it down below the video or if you're a giga chat then yeah create one for me if you got some free time i'd appreciate it yeah i gotta practice our newly learned skills on some dirty looters and i also want to have a look at the new units they added nice this this yeah it's good stuff good stuff oh finally some change like i don't know if you if you know that feeling but playing games the way they're supposed to be played okay i guess we gotta attack <laughs> i don't know just charge them and cavalry too uh but yeah the playing games the way they're supposed to be played vanilla with all the default stuff like of course it's fun and everything and you appreciate the games but eventually you just need something fresh and this is why we use mods that first battle went very well we got a prisoner that we can sell some cheese always take the cheese let's see is there any of it better yeah this is and nobody needs a pitchfork off you go my friends and money for me yeah let's get some other food yeah fish as i told you in the intro my family uh, were fishermen until uh yeah they uh, died from cringe cringe uh, has been existing for centuries now oh uh, yeah i want to sell my prisoners and here's by the way what i wanted to show you here's the bank you can take out a loan <laughs> i wonder why they chose the dollars dollar symbol as a currency i guess Calradia is using the dollar but yeah you can take a loan and if you don't pay it back i think your criminal rate or whatever kind of increases do you see that web uh that, that banner reminds me a lot of where i actually uh, come from if we're lucky we can find the place that i was born at let's see so there's hamburg and <laughs> what is masangara isn't this supposed to be germany around here but basically i was pretty much uh i'm pretty much from here if you look at my cursor and those people have a very similar banner up to this day actually i wonder if one day somebody will create a mod that lets you go everywhere and i believe they already are planning to expand it there's so much land that hasn't been used here and also those points here maybe for upcoming projects they're probably gonna add what is here i think turkey right Okay, I don't I don't wanna distract you anymore. Let's do some adventure. Oh, that's a lot of looters. Maybe we can recruit some people and attack them. Ah, oh, I don't have the money, unfortunately. So what do you think? 13 against 29? All the looters? What? They're actually running from me? I didn't expect that. Mess with us and we'll sell our lives dearly. Yeah. Whatever. I will mess with you. I will mess with your hair. So well, I'll just I make them follow me. Bowman! Tell the bowman to go Move! here. Bowman! Put them go here. Get moving! And let's see what we can do. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, um, I still gotta learn about all of those mods. <laughs> but I do some damage. So yeah, it's realistic, I guess. Okay, let the infantry attack. Bowman go back here again. Bowman actually can come here. Uh, I don't know, cavalry you can fight too. Also, the horses are able to kill a man now. Like, they got more realism. I wonder why they are using their shields. Did they also edit the AI? By any chance? Under shoulder hit. I wonder what that supposed to mean. Oh, I dismembered somebody. Oh, beautiful. All right, my boy. Hey, stop it. You got a very beautiful afro. I like your hair, but I don't like uh, the job that you're working as. Oh, and we don't let anybody surrender. I I mean, I still gotta practice. Hey, yo, cavalry, don't kill him. Ah, never mind. <laughs> Bloody. He just left his village and now already is a very fearsome fighter. So we can upgrade those. What do they look like? Oh, that's a very sick unit tree. A Scandinavian sergeant. 
Okay, I didn't know the Scandinavians had uh, Crusader helmets. I mean, yeah, sure, whatever. It's not that realistic, but... Alright, let's be a surgeon. Ah, oh, look at this. Oh, that's a lot of items. Then we should be able to get some more... Yeah, some more units. Oh, but as you can see, usually you all know the, the pain of... Uh, Attacking, I don't know, 20 looters and you got like 100 men in your army. But all your tier 6 units just die to looters. And this is what's being fixed by the mod that I just mentioned. I'm gonna trade. Uh, before we do that, a bent hoe. Yeah, I like to bend them hoes. <laughs> no, it does. Sorry, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna equip that too. Uh, some ugly underwear on my head. Sure. And food. It has a nice variety. My men are gonna love me. Always make sure to feed <laughs> your men properly. Otherwise, they might cry in their sleep. Okay, um, now we should just recruit... Oh, let's just recruit everyone if you have the money. Well, we have the money, but we don't have the capacity, unfortunately. We are already at our maximum. <laughs> I didn't expect this, okay. That means we have to check our clan window. And see how much more we need. Um, we need 50 renown to climb up the ladder and to be able to have bigger units, uh, I mean armies and more companions. So this should be our next goal. Okay, let's just check the faction window. Now I want to find out. So kingdoms. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So they added one more kingdom compared to normal Bannerlord. Oh, okay, this is, I think this is new. They added one new faction, which looks like Unkit. If you look at Unkit, <laughs> it's just a copy of him. But I mean, they're trying. They're trying their best. It's probably all being still worked on. So yeah, we should be we should be happy with what we got right now. Raganvat, oh, he is actually one of the leaders. <laughs> I know he will not accept me as one of his. Yours is not a face I oh. You're looking. What is your name, stranger? You're looking very pretty. Nice. I'm still not sure if that's historically accurate, but you look good, brother. I'm very shiny. Your boys are very shiny. My name is Gogot, sir. May I ask your name? I'm Raganvat. Something I can ask you. What about uh, challenge you to it? No, I'm not gonna <laughs> challenge him to a duel. What about uh, yeah? Can I enter your servers? Uh, I still need to be clan tier one. Yeah, we have we have some we have some work. Uh, coming up. Just not sure where to find that sad work. This the beginning in Benelord is always uh it's it's trouble. But there has to be somebody with a job. You escort merchant caravan. Yeah, I think I can do that. Peace to you, stranger. Peace to you too, my friend. Okay, um you need some help? Uh don't worry. I will escort them. Okay. So they still need to add that feature from, um, I think, Warband, or maybe it was Warband, but the Viking Conquest mod, where you could right-click and choose a company, I think. So you would just follow somebody without interacting with them. Ah, uh, there's already the stupid thieves. Who are those? Raiders. Oh, uh, horses are not good, because as I mentioned before, uh, horses actually do damage now like a lot of damage when you're being hit by a horse ah shit ah uh, we have a little more man than usual why is he already going in there yeah ai is just a daredevil we got a lot of arrows a lot of archers let's get our cavalry here too and see what we can do oh nice and Anybody else wants to die? <laughs> he just... Okay, I mean, he survived. Oh, he bled out? Oh yeah, you can bleed out, as I said. And Yeah, this is just a lot of stuff. It's just so, so hard to sum it up in uh, a few words. Oh, can you stop doing like Kuza Eat? Uh, stupid. Yeah, whatever. Tactic, strategy, I don't like it. You're circling me, shooting at me. You know, uh, also... Uh, in Warband, the Kuzid were so weak. They all were always the first faction to be deleted from the map. But here, the Kuzid are just kind of overpowered. 
which is why all the lazy people just choose them and they be like, oh, oh horse archer, uh, I'm a horse archer, <laughs> look at me. Nah, man, this is some easy shit. The real challenge is to be the opposite. This is why I chose to be a Sturgeon or a Scandinavian in our current game. Because usually in Benavod they are one of the weakest factions. Usually their territory gets taken pretty fast. And yeah, I just I like a challenge. I like a challenge. I don't want to be a lazy little boy. And <laughs> by the way, fighting those last uh, stupid raiders is gonna be a pain in the viking butthole yeah because uh they are probably faster than me and they can shoot me i don't even have a shield i definitely should get a shield and uh, i also don't have a lance but he will die uh, die die please 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 oh man Oh, cavalry, you can just attack. I think you might do a better job than I do. The awful thing is that I, I think I have to fight another a party of them. And they're fleeing. Uh, we got some prisoners. They might be worth something. Scandinavian veteran longbow man. Wow, wow. I'm just gonna fight the next battle. No horse archer action. No, no, no. Ah, uh, let's just get ready. I think my cavalry can already attack. How many are there? Oh, it's a lot. Just attack, nobody cares. Soldiers can follow me. They can follow me too. I'm gonna put my archers uh, somewhere on a hill. Somewhere they have a bit, a better view. Ay, 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 ay. Ah. Oh. You may also notice that I usually don't uh, play with the indication of friendly troops. I deleted or uh, de uh, disabled that because it's. I know, it just feels boring, it just feels like, oh, not the real experience. But also it's um, making it a bit hard to, to see who's the enemy, uh, who's the friendly, <laughs> because now everything has the same colors. <laughs> Stupid sunset. <laughs> Do you see what I mean? I, I keep throwing stuff at my old man. Here, come here, you little bearded boy man, you got the, he got the fate. Yeah, well, nowadays people like your haircut, but back then, back in our current time, nah, you will be convicted for your crimes against fashion. Oh, this is taking way too long. I mean, we <laughs> we got the victory just as I'm saying this. Ah, oh, another thing, um, you can see that all the, the damage is so low, like 10 per cut. Usually it's um, four times as much. That's also because of the RBM. Oh, I shield. Finally. That's exactly what I needed. Oh wait, we have to, we have to, <laughs> no, we have to bring him over here to Copenhagen. <laughs> ah, no. Why? Oh god, we have to use the ferry. No, stop it. Pay and cross. 500? Are you kidding me? This is probably less than, um, no, I went the wrong way. Oh, uh, wait, but it's probably like less than... <laughs> They're gonna pay me for that quest. Don't you tell me they have to go other places. I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna get very broke. Let's just sell all my items quickly. 3000. Yeah, that, sh that should be enough to travel across the ocean. Okay, they're traveling to Oslo. No, wait. No, no, no. Not across the ocean again. No. It's 400 bucks and... No. They're on the sea! They are taking a different route! They got own ships, I assume. Ah. <laughs> where are they? Wait, where are they going? To Oslo! Are you kidding me? How am I supposed to go there? The car around you protect is being ambushed by raiders. <laughs> I can't do anything. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't help you on the, uh, on the stupid ocean. Since I don't have any boats. Which might be a good, invest good investment soon, but... Ah, not yet. So, there are some sea raiders that are kind of stuck here. I'm not sure if we can take sea raiders. Usually they're pretty strong. Maybe we could recruit all of those. So we have a bit more men. And how much is it? 950? Yeah, that's okay. And attack those sea raiders because they have very good loot. 
How do I attack them though? Can they come out, please? No, they're already deserting. God damn it. I need to get to those sea raiders, but they're stuck in the castle. No, no, I just bought some units and I can't even use them. That hurts. That hurts. Ah oh, man, I wish I was a big viking. Like my ancestors. But I am not. But we have a smith here. Yeah, that's that's what we need. I? I? I don't think I know you. Peace to you, stranger. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, whatever. I can use someone. How much you want? 1,000. Ah. What's the skill then? Smithing 61. I mean, it's not that bad. It's not that bad, but... You know what? I think I can do the smithing myself. Yeah, I think I can do that. But I will recruit uh, a companion in the tavern. Because I also have the mod that uh, lets you recruit anyone. <laughs> any NPC you want. So I could just say... You, ransom broker. I can use someone like you, my company. And then he's just, he's a character now, you see? Uh, but maybe we should, we should have, uh, buy someone else. Um, oh, uh, what about you, musician? Yeah, I would like a musician. Here, take the money. And be one of my men. And the game house is somebody I don't like. Yeah, he's a scumbag. So, we got ourselves a new companion, great. And the first person who comments on this video is gonna get this boy. I'm gonna name him after you. You're gonna have something to be excited about in the next video. An army of poachers. Yeah, that's usually a quest that's doable. You need some help? What can I do for you? I'll get rid of those poachers. Okay, sure. Let's find those poachers there at Marabrot. Interesting name. I think they were there at the night time, right? So usually you have to wait until night. And then you fight the poachers. You also could like negotiate with them, which I can try if you want to see what it looks like. Uh, uh, maybe we can come to an agreement. He's like, maybe. And I'm like, you're not bad people. And it's ineffective. Great, so... I guess we have to fight them. But there's a chance that we can do this skill check. And we did! <laughs> Just 34%. Hmm. Well, what are the odds? You've made your point. Okay, awesome. I received 900 bucks for not killing anyone. And because I'm such a good man, I'm also gonna work for those poor peasants. <laughs> Let's see how much money they pay, though. They pay me 16 gold. For me bringing 22 men to work on the field. Fair. Yeah, capitalism, whatever. Yeah, the issue with those... Oh, they are not stuck anymore. I just wanted to say that the issue is that these, uh, these people just are stuck everywhere. But I'm gonna get rid of those sea raiders. Because I want their armor. You see that? Nice try, Brigant. Surrender or die. And this might be our first uh, more challenging battle. Soldiers! We get our soldiers here. In a nice line. You follow me. You too. And we get those archers. I hope they're fast. Archers stop firing. So we can run. And then my dear archers will go here. Oh damn it. This is not this is not gonna go well, I think. Can you like do a sheet wall? I don't know. Oh, Maybe you can attack them, and you can start firing, and you attack. Oh, let's see if my tactics are working. Let's see if my brain is big enough for this world. Sea Raiders. Oh, I chopped off a head. That's always lovely to see. Yeah, those battles are kind of more realistic, I have to say. You can see that they're very, uh, like, involved in uh, longer fights, longer combat. Because they can take more, more steps, more pain. And yeah, those people with shields also are more protective. Good! <laughs> and those archers are doing a great job from all the way back there. And I lost, I lost nobody. Awesome. I mean, I have to say those units are kind of strong. But I mean, it is what it is. Why do I have no pants? I am very excited for the very lovely loot we're gonna receive. <laughs> this... Is this real? 
do they look like this or did they look like this? If that's the case, then big respect to you Scandinavians back then, man. We have an axe that is doing more damage, um, yeah, than my sword. A nice cap, yeah, I, I don't know, it looks like somebody ate the inside of a bread. I know that some of you do that. Mm -hmm. And just put it on his head afterwards. <laughs> I will give you a spear, stupid hat. Some good old shoes and a worn sell all the random stuff. I mean that the, the blade is pretty good still, but it's also worth a lot. And those javelins are also ooh, they give me a lot of money. And all those items too. Well, there's good money for a good man like me. As soon as we hit that tier number one. We are also able to become a mercenary and this is basically our entry into the world of the nobleman. We can be part of some huge ass kingdom and fight other huge ass kingdoms without that much of a sacrifice. Hello, who are you? Hey. I I. I know you. Why do they have so cool armor? I would wrap that in real life. Oh, a little, a little surprise that I'm planning for you. Uh, once I hit that 1000 subscribers, which might be very soon, I am doing a little surprise, a little special with you. So if you want to see that, make sure to tell your aunt and your uncle and your cousins and your third cousin and your grandfather about this beautiful channel and help me grow to a thousand man army. And then I'm gonna show you something very crazy because uh, talking about helmets, yes, I'm about to buy a helmet and there might be sort of a face reveal, but actually not really. It's just, ah, you're gonna find out very soon. Let's see, we are at Göteborg and I still have to go searching around looking for combat, looking for fights. Well, it's those first steps, the first um, hours, the first grind that are the most exhausting, but trust me, just keep watching. Eventually, we'll just climb the ladder of success faster than you can say butter. <laughs> I mean, probably not. Yeah, you, I, I think you can say butter pretty fast. I can't even find looters. Well, respect to the Scandinavians. I mean, in real life, the crime rate in Scandinavia is very low, isn't it? So I guess we have to get a renown by solving quests. Salulk of Ferg needs help with brigands. Yours is not a I, I, uh, yeah, what's, what's... You need you want me to put them down? Let's say two bands of brigands. The thing is, I don't know if I can do that because I haven't seen any <laughs> bandits in a long time actually. Also, what I would love to see in the future is more interaction at castles. For now, castles are just worth nothing besides having a keep and a dungeon. I would love it if you could just do some f more fun stuff there, like, oh, I don't know, tournaments, like small tournaments perhaps, or uh, a little tavern at least. Like also the men in castles have to do something. And also the men in castles have like issues. <gasps> there is a tournament, you know what that means, you know. <laughs> It means that I'm gonna die very quickly. I'm still gonna give it a try. I will not bet money yet. Because I know the combat has gotten very, very hard with all those mods. And... Wow! Let's see how far we can get. Oh, he fell to the floor. That's very unfortunate. Oh no. Okay, something that I did in my other video was crouching when it hit me. But... <laughs> it's not it's not working anymore. Maybe the mod fixed it. <laughs> I also saw people complaining that it doesn't work for them. Oh, it still works. Okay, never mind. Debunked. Debunked. Everyone, you can still go and try uh, the, the crouching. It still works. It still works. Oh, I'm bleeding from my nose. Not nice. And it's kind of cold down there. <laughs> it's still working. That's awesome. Awesome. Like, it's not really useful in battles, obviously. Because there's just men everywhere. But... <laughs> as, you, as you just witnessed, it still is a very useful tactic. I think I should bet. Yeah, now, now I'm ready. Now I'm, I'm not scared anymore. I'm warmed up. I'm warmed up. Oh no, a bow! No, my bow skills is awful, and this auto dump mod is making shooting arrows so slow. You see? Oh, I can't. 
Like, the, the time for me to draw the arrow is... Oh, super slow. I can't help. Oh, I got a huge axe. Why am I even using my arrow? Why has he a... He has a small mace. And me, the arrow boy, who's supposed to be in the background, got a huge ass axe. Oh. Oh. Uh, for glory. How did he die? Why did he die? Why why did he die though? Oh! No way you're gonna shoot me like from the back? No way! Oh! You! They are just teaming up! I bled to death! No! I don't think so! No! You know what it means? You know, that means I'm out of the uh, tournament. Yeah, shit is getting hard. We got 4,000 gold. Anything we can buy with that. Oh, things are so expensive. It's inflation. Here's Quoll. And those people at Quoll, they need my time, don't they? The art of trade. Yours is not a face I know. Uh, what is your name, stranger? Your name, stranger? Uh, nobody. I heard you may need help with the problem. I'll buy the products from you. And I think the quest is already solved, right? And this guy, what do you need? He needs grain seeds. How many? Hey, hey man, what do you need? 35. I will find that for you. No worries. I Everything, everything for fame. Oh, nice. We got some cows. You know what we do with cows? In real life, I'm vegetarian, but in Benelord, <laughs> I, I eat all the meat. Slaughter the cow. Slaughter the cow. Slaughter. <laughs> oh, and hides. Ooh, we can sell that. We can sell that. Here, take my hides and what I need from you, dear traders. Uh, what I need is grain. How much? Let's just buy like this. So we have some more as well. And those stupid peasants um also got something to eat. Finally, talk to you How about the task. You have? Here, here's your grain. And hide your pain. Something I um, noticed about Warband in comparison to Benelot is that meat, uh, it went bad, right? It wasn't edible after you had it in your inventory for too long, right? So this is also something, some kind of thing that added realism that they no took out of the game for some reason. Yeah, I got a problem. And prepare to fight me, attack, and in such a case, I will just go 0, F1, F3. Everyone, everyone, just fight, run, and become a badass son. That's right. Woo -doo 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 -doo. Now I got a spear, so I can try to do something I like. I actually like lances a lot. Like pole arms, if you're on a horse, it just gives you such a nice reach. If you got a long one, that sounds wrong, but <laughs> why is the cavalry just running away? This is something I don't really understand. I don't know if they changed AI, if they're supposed to go that far away, but can you see that? All the way back there, just to charge again. Okay, maybe it's at, uh, at some kind of AI trick. It has to be, because that wasn't in the game usually, or maybe in an update. Ah, oh, dude, I don't really read those. And an axe. An axe. An eye for an eye. A foot for a foot. I just want your head. Can you uh, decapitate yourself? Oh? Oh? No. 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 Rest in peace, little looters. Yeah, I mean, I mean, this is isn't isn't this what we all wanted? That you can finally fight looters without having to worry about your own man dying because some looter uh, uh, gave you a heart attack or whatever. It's just it makes no sense. So I'm glad that mods like this help us improve the yeah the immersion. Because imagine in real life, you get like, oh, you're like the, the Golden Knight, you're uh, King Arthur or whatever, and you go with your yeah, with the whole army, all those men that you fought with for years, and they got shiny, blinky, shiny armor. Wow. They got little emeralds on them. And then you fight ten stinky men wearing their uh, older brother's clothes. And they managed to kill one of you? 
Yeah, you see, it just makes no sense. There's Radak Met. You still need some help? They don't. You still need someone to work for you. I can do that. Look at me. Look, look, look. You and your 21. <laughs> I love how they just call us peasants. As if we all were peasants. I mean, I am, but they paid me very well, actually. So maybe just hunt down those sea raiders, steal their armor. And there's a hideout. I think we're not strong enough yet to clean out hideouts. Or are we? Do you think we could try that? Okay. At first, um, fight those men. And maybe think a bit about tactics. Uh, oh, they're so close. Okay, damn. We just... Uh, I don't know, man. Just get back here again. Uh, horse, when you just go here. I mean, there's just not much strategy we can do here. One thing I can do, though, is to stretch them. Uh, so the infantry can just run through them. Yeah, let's do that. Nice, they're they're very made a very big line and are harder to hit, as you can see as well. And once they get close, the little scumbags, I'm a make my boys take care of them. Ah, oh, I love bowmen. Also, you may have noticed that bows do so much more damage. Oh, attack now! It's just one guy. They didn't even reach us. They didn't even reach us. Okay. Yeah, arrows are also much more realistic now. That's just one renown. Oh, the grind is hard. They have they have very uh, cute little bags on their on their uh, on their belt. I wonder what's in there. Probably little Lego man. I mean, we're part of Denmark, aren't we? So of course it's Lego. They bring him with them. Is there any Danish uh, viewer here watching this? Because uh, you could probably say yes, say yes, say it's true. <laughs> oh, the sea raiders are actually on the sea now. Why is this still not on uh, in Calradia and the regular Bannerlord? Like, this is this basic fact. If you call the sea raider, but always on the land, then are you even a sea raider? Are you even a drink from your school, man? I don't think so. Just want to do some quests. They give me more. They give me more fame. The village needs drought animals. What Please do they do need, drink. though? What kind of animals do we need? Donkeys. We need two head of cattle. That's not a lot they ask for. So I should be able to just get them there. I think a cow is what they need. Two cattle. Do you accept my sacrifice? We can sacrifice it to the gods. How about the task you gave me here, you animals. Yeah, I think they gave me food. Oh, mm, food is what I like, and I also like sea raiders. Hey, <laughs> you can't run. Oh, you're not, you're not fast enough. You gotta die. And here we are, a desert. Why are we in a desert? <laughs> Why the map so, so cursed? Oh, the uh, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna contact the, the guy who does the Europe map and ask him if that's supposed to be like that. <laughs> sure. We're in Scandinavia, but there's desert. Uh, makes sense. Sure, why not? I mean, it's just for people just attack. They're already running away, look! They already are giving up. Oh my god! Oh, 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 no, 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 no! Why are you dealing so much damage? <laughs> this one guy survived. Mm, he didn't. Oh, and those others were just run over. Those horses just became cars. The beer pelt, whoa, finally they give me their armor. Let's go to Östersund, or maybe before that we go to Kvoll. Are there some cows here? Deliver the herd to Göteborg. I can do that. I, you don't have to know my face, just don't worry, I'll deliver your 10 sheep personally to Jasna the mouse. The mouse! She's a mouse! That's not that close. Uh, Tora, why is your lance gigantic? Yeah, her lance is, it's bigger than, <laughs> than a tree? No, don't, don't tell me Göteborg is being besieged. No. Yeah, that means I can't go in there. I'm not sure, I've gotta try. Landlord needs access to Scorin commons. Yours is not a face. Yeah, I I can help you with that. I can get your hurts, man. Uh, I can do that for you. Why? <laughs> oh no! Are they being attacked? <laughs> what was the point of this mission? Oh, this one so guy, violent. so dedicated, so dedicated. 
Arches, you can go up here. My soldiers go down here. My cavalry, actually my cavalry can just attack. I know that they can't do anything about the cavalry. <laughs> stupid pig forks and stupid sickles. There's no way they're gonna do much. Yeah, I just tell the infantry to die. What is that? Oh, it's rocks. I thought like, oh, it's a, it's a little crystals here, little emeralds. But it was just rocks, just the pebbles they threw. Here, in the back. We don't like peasants here. Victory! So, we solved another quest. Now we finally have the time to go to Göteborg. Lukon. So, isn't this the Holy Roman Empire? Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's... Yeah, well, you have come a far, far away. You've, you've come far. Please, this time, let me go in there. Yeah, don't get involved, of course. Can you at least hurry up with your siege? Like, do me a favor. You know what? I'm just gonna go to a village and enjoy the, the village life. This is also... <laughs> this is where I'm gonna record some of my footage for the intro of this video. My stupid companion is just following me, but... He can... He, actually, you can go. Go away. I don't need you here. You can stop following me now, man. I don't need some bodyguard. <coughs> Idiot. Hmm, <laughs> I miss the village life. I miss my village. I was a fisherman, you know? Before all this happened. I was just like you. I was a fisherman. But now... I'm sorry. But now... I'm a warrior. For today, I will... I will... Drop my weapons. Here. You can have them for a while. We can actually recruit another guy. That's awesome. Up to 24. We need the army. And as I just witnessed the... Well, the Holy Roman Empire. Conquered Göteborg. Now, what was I supposed to do? Oh, okay, I think I... Oh, here's the mouse. The mouse, remember. We have to talk to her. She really sounds like an... Uh, she really sounds like a mouse. Here, I have something for you. There's 10 sheep for you. I hope you enjoy them. Anybody else need some help? No, I'm not gonna escort you. An army of poachers. That is something I like to do. I'll get rid of you. I mean, of those poachers. <laughs> what we were supposed to do was wait here until it's night again. And then we should be able to fight some of those little poachers. Poachers, everyone, fight them. Or we negotiate. Actually, let's try that. Maybe we can come to an agreement, my friend. I'm a man of big words. You're not bad people. Sure. So now we have, just as the last time, the chance of 34% to hit the double. <laughs> and we did. Okay. What? <laughs> oh, I'm very lucky. And we also, well, didn't have to kill innocent men. Why do the Italians have the German culture though? I feel like the Italians wouldn't like to hear that. Landlord needs access. Yeah. Is not a face I know. Yeah, don't you worry. I will help you with your access. I can get your hearts, hearts, man, to the pastors. Okay, they're here. You follow them. They're gonna be very important. Oh no! Uh oh! Uh oh! There's gonna be war! What are they doing? Why are they on a ship? <laughs> Why are they fighting on the sea? And I, I can't join them because I have no ship. Oh. Yeah, just die on the water. I don't care. I want to talk to the villagers. Extortion by deserters. Yours is not a face I... Mm hmm I can help you. Should I just wait here? They already are here. Hello, Sturgeon Brigant. You will have a fight. And I really hope that I can take some of your gear. It's a night battle, of course. Of course it is. Oh, this is gonna be hard. So, how close are they? Ah, uh, I think we have the the high ground, like Obi Wan Kenobi, and should be able to put the bows up here if they're not too far already. Put them just like. Oh, I forgot to put my armor back on. That's not a good sign. You go here, and footmen go down there, and cavalry just follow me again. Ah. I'm interested in those brigands. I wonder what they do in their free time. Besides playing Minecraft, obviously. Um, Where's my infantry though? What are these guys here? Is this... Oh! Infantry, I attack, attack, I guess. They're getting close. 
That's not good. Why? Stop it! No! Go back on your horse. Archers! Archers, run! Archers, not good. Archers, don't you die! Don't you do this to me, archers! Archers, you can't do this to me. And uh, uh, cavalry, here! Attack him, cavalry! I mean, they have huge shields, but you can still do it at uh, cavalry here. Uh, there, sh there shouldn't be such a challenge. Oh, oh, oh no, horse! Ah, yeah. Stab him in the head. That's what you do as a good soldier. And if you don't, then you're obviously not a good soldier. <gasps> oh, 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 they kind of want me. Okay, I'll just do the strategy that my horsemen are doing. They go away very far and they return just so they can step in, in the back. Like this. Yes! <laughs> he went flying for real. He for real went flying. Good. Now everybody can attack. I just wonder where my horseman went. Here. Slap him in the head. Back. Here. Here. Can you... I mean, I, it's, uh, I'm, I'm okay with you fleeing the battle. But can you at least uh, not, you know, protect yourself with the shield? It's kind of unfair. I need some kills. I need some experience. Please. Sir. Dear sir. It would be... It would be very... Uh, very friendly. Very... Yeah. For good of you if you could just die. <laughs> Why am I not doing much damage? I'm such a weakling. Take this hit. Here on your head. On your head. On your head. In your head. Zombie. Zombie. Watch my last video if you want to see some zombies. Please, please. I <laughs> just stopped my own horseman from being yeah, a good killer. Oh man, people, I think you have to do it. Or let me do it. Man, why am I doing, doing any damage? Please! I can't even hit him from this far. I'm so bad. Mm -hmm. Who? Interesting battle. Upgrade those fools. And now. Oh, beautiful man with a beautiful beard. His legs look a bit weird. Do they have a quest for me? Extortion. Oh. Hey, here, thanks, this will come in handy. Yeah, why don't you guys tell me what what to invest my points into? Usually I just kind of do it randomly, I feel. I just do the ones that are already hitting the limit. All those combat skills, they can be learned in combat, while all those other skills are kind of hard to learn, like rogue or smithing. So let's put some points into scouting, because it's going to be very helpful on the map. And let's do some honest work. Yes, honest work. We are peasants. Good. How much you paying? 56? Shame. We have to sell items. I forgot. Oh, we're gonna make a fortune. I haven't been there for a long time. Who's that herders of Skorin? <laughs> it's the guys from the <laughs> from the previous quest. They're stuck on the ocean. They may have won the battle, but they're probably gonna drown. You can have my pitchfork. My armors. But I'm gonna get 2,000 gold. Why are they crossbowmen? What kind of culture is that? HRE. Ho oh, it's the ho Rome Holy Mo. <laughs> no, wait, the Roman Holy. The ho No, wait, the Holy Roman Empire. I see. So, another new fact or new feature is yeah, that it doesn't really matter what, what culture the thing is. If you have conquered it, and you can also recruit people from your own culture, from your own faction. It always is a, feels a bit weird when you trying to cosplay as some Vlandian badass lord. And then when you take over multiple towns and have your own town also in different uh, areas. It just feels weird <laughs> when your army is basically units of the other um, enemies. Here's the Fortnite, no wait, foreign town. Oh, sea raiders. I can attack them! Uh... Here? You shall talk to my feast. This makes no sense again. <laughs> this is like Africa. <laughs> not not Scandinavia. No. This looks like Egypt. Uh that's weird. Oh, you know what? There's a there's a bridge that means they have to crotch cross across that bridge. So I put my soldiers here so they can't get through. But what I also do is go around here please try not to drown my friends the water isn't that shallow as it might look and then 
Ah, there's another passage I see over here. That's good, actually. That's good. That can be used by my horsemen. And my archers are gonna be positioned here. So they can shoot the enemy while they're crossing the bridge. I hope they are gonna cross the bridge. But I usually go to the... Or towards the enemy that has the most units. Which I hope are, is my infantry. But, yeah. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> I'm just afraid my archers can't do much. They don't even see the enemies. Oh. Now they should do, though. Shoot! Shoot! Archers! Alright, they start to shoot. Ah, uh, and now they decide to return. Nope, I'm not gonna play your little games. I'm gonna play my little games. I'm gonna go... Gonna go back here. Yes. Take my horseman. And... Since the bridge is probably gonna be cleared, as it seems, we're gonna flank them. Move and you man. archers, you probably have to go too. Yes. And uh, infantry, you maybe wanna go over there. Yeah. It's so confusing sometimes. AI in this game. Look, he's already turning around. They're not sure what to do. Ah, uh, you can see, uh, can see their brains working hard. But infantry, oh, yes. gonna take cavalry, cavalry too. And <laughs> your days are done. Or counter days, or uh, what do you say exactly? I'm not a native speaker, you know that. I need some practice. Help me. Help me. Tell me how to improve my skills. I want to be such a fluent speaker. Wow. Look, bashing in their heads. Making them dead. They all dead. Great. This shield is oh, actually better than my uh, than my one. I got better armor. I got uh, a masterwork spear. Like good shoes. Man, them Yeezys. Everything. Like life's good. Life's really good. Life's really good. Oslo. Oslo. It is. We go to the traders. Seller items. The shields. I should have given the shield to the teammate actually, but. No, he gotta, he gotta, he gotta earn it. He gotta save my life first, and then I, then I owe him one. That's right. That's how we do it. The knight, Marabrot, that needs grain seeds. Okay. Sure. Here, how many do you need? Tell me. You need thirty-eight. Sure. Anything else, my prince? Here, I will find that seed for you. I will, I will, I will give you the seed. I will give you my seed. No, 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 no. I need some food and easy, easy money for me. Easy renown. I give you some seeds. Here's your grain. You're welcome. What is Bergen? Can we go there too? I've never heard of those names. Are they real life castles and towns or um, is it just, was it like back then? Anybody still alive who witnessed it and can tell me? The villagers need help. Family Foyt. Cool, I like family Foyts. I'm a family man myself, you know. What else can I do? Don't worry. I will protect your relative. Where are you hiding? He is... Ah, oh, he's there. Hey, senor. Do you need some help? I can help you. Here, come with me. Now we have to go to the other village, right? And discuss. But usually when I did this quest, something very awful happened and the guy that we were supposed to protect just died. Oh, it's Rurabas we have to go to. We talk to this friend. Hey. Hey. I don't think. I know you. I don't no, don't think. So I must leave now. Huh? Why would I leave? So then what is it? Did I do something wrong? Should I just visit him? Okay, that's weird. We- well, well, okay, it works now. Who did you bring to see us? Did you bring his funeral shroud with him? We have to come to talk, just listen to us, please. Wait, this land is under my protection. Um, what there is to talk? Uh, you are breaking the law. Maybe. <laughs> it's like, mm, maybe, maybe I am. I feel like this is not gonna work. It did work! Finally. I see. What else do you have to say? Actually, I feel like this is my only chance. A corrected could fail. He's gonna attack him, isn't he? Wait, we have another chance. Let's try this one. Wow. Oh no. We are about to start a fight. Oh no. Oh no. No! Stop it! Leave him! Leave him! You can't do this! No, he's, he's, he's my son! I mean, not really. Stop it! Dude, stop it! 
Guys, really stop fighting. This is against the law, against everything. Not very civilized. You are gentlemen. Stop it. Oh my god. Is he dead? Ah, stop hitting me. Huh? No. No. No, you can't just you can't just take kill everyone. They killed the man that I was supposed to protect. They also killed the man. That was supposed to protect me, <laughs> my companion. Oh, great, 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 really, man. And you are, you are actually strong. And I bled out? No way. <laughs> and the game crashed. <laughs> oh, can it get worse? Apparently dying kills you and crashes everything. I think we have to stop it here. Um, I already have recorded a long time. I apologize that I haven't gotten to uh, tier 1 yet in, in my clan rank. But I'm sure you are very patient and soon will be my witness again uh, during the next episode. And I would really appreciate it if you like this content and tell me what else I can do better. Tell me if you want me to do something. And also remember, if you comment, I will put your name into the next video. So don't miss out on that. You sure don't want to miss yourself being used as a sword or uh, an axe. Everything is possible. Well, thank you very much for watching and see you very soon. Coming,